Hello, my name is Zoe Abubedo, and coming up in today's edition, the Ghana Integrity Initiative accuses President Mahama of indulging in electoral corruption. We'll give you the details of this and many more stories on City News Daily on City TV. The Electoral Commission in the Bono Ahafo region has disqualified three parliamentary nominees. The affected nominees were contesting the Sutifi North and South constituency seats. They include Ghana Freedom Party's Kofi Annane, the National Democratic Party's Teria Joseph, and a PPP aspirant. The district director of the EC in the Sutifi North, Barton Brima, who confirmed this to City News Daily, said, out of the five aspirants who picked forms to contest the parliamentary seat, only three aspirants paid their filing fee. Meanwhile, the Sutifi South Director of the Electoral Commission, Gideon Yeboah, explained that the PPP aspirant was also disqualified for failure to pay his filing fees. In a related development, some parliamentary nominees in the central region have been marked for disqualification. The Central Regional Director of the Electoral Commission, Philomena Naidusai, told City News Daily that the regional office has forwarded the full list of the affected aspirants and the reasons behind their disqualification to the head office of the commission in Accra for the final determination. 97.3 City FM, relevant radio, always. The Ghana Integrity Initiative, JII, has accused President Mahama of abusing his incumbency and indulging in electoral corruption when he distributed some outboard motors to fisher folks in the western region. The Mahama 2016 campaign team had earlier explained that the outboard motor distribution was part of government's social intervention projects in the sector. But the spokesperson for GII's Coalition Against Corruption, Adam Senanu, says the branding of the ceremony with party colors on the campaign platform does not make it a government project. According to him, public resources were used in purchasing items for political party members during the campaign. The Progressive People's Party, PPP, has accused the Electoral Commission of bias for allowing the presidential candidate of the NPP, Nana Ekufuado, to contest in the upcoming presidential elections. According to the party's director of policy, Kofia Samasiyan, Nana Ekufuado committed perjury after failing to declare his assets as required by the EC's regulations. But the acting general secretary of the NPP, John Buedu, has dismissed the claims of the PPP. According to him, the asset declaration set by the EC was not backed by law and added that the MPP cannot be faulted for violating any electoral laws. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1243 331 Evening and weekend classes are also available. And that's how we end today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu. Thanks for watching.